<clears throat> All right, so today's video, I wanted to talk about how to feel confident and how to give value when you don't know shit. I've been seeing so many people feel pressure to suddenly become experts. I just think if you're someone who maybe makes content on YouTube and Instagram, you probably heard the number one tip, which is give value to your audience. Heck, I, I think I've said that advice before. Problem I see is that idea of giving value and becoming an expert and knowing everything is paralyzing a lot of creators from making content they want to make and posting it. I feel like I even have a problem publishing shit because I have a fear of being corrected. And I think that's real. Because the number one question I get every single day from you guys is saying how to be confident. You know, really my editor messaged me because I love her name's Amanda. She was saying how she was delaying videos on YouTube because I'm not at the level I need to be. How, why would anyone listen to me? Why would anyone care about what I have to say? Because I don't know everything yet. So that's where I wanted to start off today's video. Because what the heck? When you really think about it, okay? I think we all have a friend. Just imagine a friend in your group who's a know-it-all, okay? Just imagine someone who corrects your grammar. God. Someone who just knows every single factoid in the world. Name him Jack. If your name is Jack, I'm really sorry. We all have a Jack in the world. Um, and we all know how annoying it is. Nothing more unattractive and cocky than someone who knows everything. And that goes the same for content when you're creating a personal brand. Like, why do you want to know everything? It's boring. I could Google or ask Alexa for help if I wanted to know something specifically. But on a platform like YouTube and Instagram, I'm here for entertainment. I'm here for stories. And becoming a robot is not attractive because the number one strength we have is not knowing everything, but as humans, it's our story. It's not about what we know, it's about who we are. But we live in a society, or I guess we pressure ourselves to be valued based on what we know, how many followers we have, how much money we have, because that's the value of a human. And it's, it's just pathetic, I disagree. This is not coming from someone that is always confident either. I think a lot of people mistake and they see this exterior of like this like, yelling 18 year old girl in the camera as someone who's a motivational confidence speaker. And yes, I do get the opportunities to speak and consult in front of companies. That's my main business um, at a young age, but I go home from these meetings and I feel so, so insecure. Before this, like literally 10 minutes before this video, I was contemplating whether I should even post it because I don't like the way I look in the mirror. And I don't like the way I don't, like I am in rooms where I have to talk to CEOs who are a lot older than me and I'm intimidated um, and I, I feel really weak. So what do I do, right? In that scenario, I would probably puff my chest up, act older, try to know everything. And lately I found this really amazing tip that I wanted to share with you guys of how to feel confident without knowing everything. So in that situation where actually last week I was in New York for meetings, I was really nervous and you guys saw, um, I'll link below my vlog if you guys wanna check it out. Instead of acting like I knew everything, I just told myself, you know what? It's not my, it's not on me. Literally, when you think about it, when you're making content, it's actually not about you. When you're making something, it's for an audience, right? It's for a viewer. You don't have to have all the answers. You just have to ask the right questions. So I actually applied that last week when I went into the meeting with, um, in New York, it was a company that kind of makes content and media for, for art pages. Um, and I was consulting for them. And instead of like puffing my chest off with the strategy of the social media marketing, I literally just asked some questions. I asked, what's your goal? And what's preventing you to get there? And what have you tried so far? Literally, that was it. Like, I asked those questions to see, you know, hey, let's put our heads together. Let's have a conversation. I think too often on YouTube, we're trying to make noise. We're trying to make content. We're trying to blast shit out. We're trying to get value, right? But the real value is making people think. You don't want to just blurt out things. And here's the thing, you guys, you have to understand. There's a very fine line between saying something and creating a message versus having people listen. The whole difference between making noise versus getting people to listen. And I realized that listening, and if you want people to pay the fuck attention to you, that didn't make sense. If you want people to care about what you have to say, you want people to think about themselves. You want people to reflect. It's, it's about mirrors, right? Have you ever heard of the quote like, you are a mirror to everyone around you. For example, right? Instead of like making cooking content, just about a tutorial about recipes, maybe you can ask yourself, when was the last time you made a meal for someone you loved? And 
holy shit, it turned into like a psychology session where instead of you're showing your audience how to cook, you make people think deeper and you're actually applying something in their real day-to-day -day life. I mean, that's just one example. I think so often we are trying to become this inward focus creator when really you're trying to make content to impact others, right? I mean, that's the goal of having an audience. It's not about you. It's literally about asking the right questions and it's fucking boring if you know everything. So that's the first two things, you know? First of all, you don't need to be a know-it-all. It's very, very, okay. it's, it's human to not know anything. And second thing is once you do that, realize that ask the right questions. And the last tip I have for how to be confident is if you want to see confidence, man, it's not that person with the Gucci bag and the a million followers on Instagram. It is not that. True confidence is when you don't need anything to make you be accepted of yourself. It's when you don't need to puff up your shoulders to, to feel okay. I think so often we rely on what we know and how much money we have as who we are, but who we the value of you is is you you know there's a book by, called go giver and i read it last no two weeks ago and it really changed my life so i'll link it below if you guys want to read it this book basically says there's so many times for example uh, there was this one client i was working with i was consulting for ecology channel on youtube and i love their stuff um and they're the top psychology channel in the world and i'm like kind of freaking out and i remember the ceo was talking to me and asking me for help and I was like bro like I don't know that much like how, what would I know to help you and I think the CEO of the company said Jade it's, it's not about who you, you know what you know it's it's who you are you know he said to me that I like that you're determined and I like that you never give up so I want you to help me on my team and that was the first time I was like what the actual fuck like you know, what value do I have to this world someone older than me probably knows more yada 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 let me wait till I'm older yada you know and I just don't want that to happen to you guys. You are so much more valuable than you think. You are more loved than you know. Um, I hope this video is a reminder to tell you that it's so what you're famous, so what you have money, but how kind are you? You know, so what you are smart and you, you're, you're articulate with your words, but do you have persistence? Do you have compassion? Those are so much more important traits than fucking clout or anything that's external. I truly believe that you guys are so much more powerful than you know. I never thought I'd be able to sit here with a platform. I don't deserve anything at all. I don't think I'm entitled because I don't need any of the numbers to define who I am. And I hope you can understand that the f number of followers you have does not define you. You are an influencer because you have you have the power to influence people, not about how many likes you get. Okay. Yeah, that's my video for today. I, I really want you guys to share this to someone who maybe would need it. Your guys' comments mean a lot and like mean a lot to me because it makes me know that you enjoy this video. And yeah, I love car chats, so I do sit in my car a lot and talk. So if you guys enjoy this video, let me know and shout out to the con winner. Shout out to the con winner. Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode. If you want to be the next con winner, just comment below your thoughts and just let me know my question to you guys, which is when you struggle with confidence, how... How do you cope with it? I'm genuinely curious if I missed something out. Let me know what I should learn because I'm also insecure as fuck. Uh, so listen to the podcast. I have a podcast if you didn't know that. Super raw um, and I post my thoughts on there too. So I'll link that below. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Don't want to leave you waiting too much and I'll see you very soon.